Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to corner geometry 11th grade straight lines. Very standard problem, regularly asked in exam, image of a point with respect to a line. We did couple of videos on this particular topic, but I just thought let me do one more example. So image of a point with respect to a line. Now whenever we say image, immediately we know the point and the line are perpendicular to each other. So let me try to put a small diagram. Let us say the point is minus 3 comma 5 here and then we know that the line will be perpendicular to the point and the equation of the line is given as 5x plus 2y minus 24 equal to 0. What's the meaning of image of a point with respect to your line is we need to find out coordinates of this point x1 comma y1 x1 comma y1 is image of this point with respect to the line mirror to 5x plus 2y minus 24. Why? Because what's the meaning of image? Image means we have to be at the same distance with respect to the line on the other side. Now if this distance is x then this distance also should be x. Also, this line should be perpendicular to the given line. That is the concept behind image. Now, how to solve this problem? Let's write down the steps at very high level. First step, what we have to do, we are not using any formulas in this. We are just doing it by fundamentals. Now, first step is, let us say this line is L and this line is M. We have to find out equation of equation of line m that's our first step step two what we have to do is we have to find out this point of intersection or foot of perpendicular we have to find foot of perpendicular once we know that then our last step will be to find the coordinates of image find image of find the image as we know that once we we know the foot of perpendicular then we know that is midpoint of the point and its image so we can easily use the midpoint formula and we can find out the coordinates of image that is x1 comma y1 so let's go ahead first step what we have to do we said is find out the equation of line m how to do that for that what is the slope of line l that is minus 5 by 2 because the slope of a line is given by minus a by b if the line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 now we know these two lines L and M are perpendicular to each other. That means what will be the slope of line M? That will be 2 by 5. And we know a point that is minus 3 comma 5. So can we find out the equation of line M? That is y minus y1, y minus 5 equal to M. That is slope is 2 by 5 into x minus x1. That is x plus 3. Let us simplify that. We will have 5y minus 25 is equal to 2x plus 6. That Next step we can write down 2x minus 5y plus 31 equal to 0. Now there is another way how you can find out the equation of line m that is we know equation of line l is 5x plus 2y minus 24 equal to 0 now then equation of line m will be x y 5 and 2 will switch so it will become 2x and 5y the plus will become minus plus k equal to 0 now 
this takes care of that this product of slopes is minus 1 these two lines are perpendicular to each other now how to find out the value of k for that we can leverage minus 3 comma 5 because the line has to pass through minus 3 comma 5 substituting the values we will have minus 6 minus 25 plus k equal to 0 or k equal to 31 substitute back we will have 2x minus 5y plus 31 equal to 0 now we know the equation of the line m is 2x minus 5y plus 31 equal to 0 in the next step we'll try to find out the foot of perpendicular that means we'll try to find out the point of intersection of these two lines that will give us let us say h comma k we can find out h comma k then we can use the midpoint formula so let's go to the next step once we found out equation of line l and equation of m we can easily find out foot of perpendicular that is point of intersection of these two lines now i can use elimination method substitution method or cross multiplication my favorite is always elimination so i'll go ahead with it i'll write down 5x plus 2y minus 24 equal to 0 another one is 2x minus 5y plus 31 equal to 0 now i want to eliminate y so i'll multiply first equation with 5 and the second equation with 2 so that y terms can be cancelled out now what will be my next step then multiplying with 5 i will have 25x plus 10y minus 120 equal to 0 also 2 twos are 4x minus 10y plus 62 equal to 0 let us simplify this we will have 29x minus 58 equal to 0 or simplifying x equal to 2 now that means h equals to 2 now let's find out the k value for that we will apply in any one of these equations we can substitute 2 into x 2 into 2 minus 5y plus 31 equal to 0 that means minus 5y plus 35 equal to 0 or can i write down minus 5y equal to minus 35 or y equal to 7 so h comma k is 2 comma 7 now once we got minus 3 comma 5 2 comma 7 x1 comma y1 is what we need we know that 2 comma 7 is midpoint of these two points minus 3 comma 5 and x1 comma y1 so we will leverage that and we will find out the values of x1 and y1 let us just put that line here we have minus 3 comma 5 we have midpoint 2 comma 7 then we have x1 comma y1 and we know that is midpoint so this distance is equal to this distance now let's use midpoint formula to find out the x1 comma y1 values we'll write down midpoint formula x1 minus 3 by 2 but that's equal to 2 and y1 plus 5 by 2 that is equal to 7 so let us simplify this we will have x1 equals to 2 into 2 plus 3 which is equal to 7 and y1 equals to 2 into 7 minus 5 which is equal to 14 minus 5 that's equal to 9 so the coordinates of x1 comma y1 are the image of point minus 3 comma 5 with respect to the line 5x plus 2y minus 24 equal to 0 is 7 comma 9 let's have a recap of this problem now whenever we have been asked image of a point with respect to the line what we need to find out is first foot of perpendicular then after that we have to find out the image of the point with respect to the line now the image and this point both of them will be at 90 degrees to the given line so the line which is formed by joining the point and the image will be perpendicular to the image line now our logic is to first find out the foot of perpendicular for that we know the slope of the given line from that find out the slope take the reciprocal negative slope that is slope of line m we know the point so we can find out equation of m we know equation of l equation of m find out the point of intersection that is foot of perpendicular then use midpoint formula because image will be at the same distance 
with respect to the line like the point but on the other side so we use midpoint formula we can easily find out that image of the point is 7 comma 9